Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, want to travel someday? Then get our free must-know travel words and phrases PDF ebook. Beginners should master these words in their very first month. Second, the Talking About Time PDF Cheat Sheet. Days of the week, months, seasons, and time-related vocabulary. You learn it all with this printable PDF cheat sheet. Third, top ways to reject invitations. Need a good excuse to stay home tonight? With this one-minute lesson, you learn how to say, sorry, I have plans, and other phrases in your target language. Fourth, most common phrases for conversations. This quick lesson gets you speaking the basics in minutes. So if you feel you're not ready to speak yet, this lesson is for you. Fifth, want the best language learning app? Download Innovative Language 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You unlock hundreds of audio and video lessons and courses and learn real language by real teachers. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get up to 35% off basic, premium, or premium plus with the 1 billion download celebration sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. K dog K K dog K가 낯선 사람에게 막 짖고 있습니다. The dog is barking harshly at strangers. 개가 낯선 사람에게 막 짖고 있습니다. 고양이 cat 고양이 고양이 cat 집에 고양이 한 마리가 있습니다. I have a cat at home. 집에 고양이 한 마리가 있습니다. 햄스터 hamster 햄스터 햄스터 hamster 한국에서는 햄스터를 대형 마트나 애완 동물샵에서 살수 있습니다. Pet hamsters can be bought at large discount department stores or in pet shops in Korea. 한국에서는 햄스터를 대형 마트나 애완 동물샵에서 살수 있습니다. 따뜻한 warm 따뜻한 따뜻한 warm 겨울에는 따뜻한 코트를 입는다. In winter, I wear a warm coat. 겨울에는 따뜻한 코트를 입는다. B rain B B rain 거리에 비가 내리고 있다. The rain is falling on the street. 거리에 비가 내리고 있다. Tomato 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 juice 한잔 주세요. Please give me a cup of tomato juice. 토마토 주스 한잔 주세요. 딸기 strawberry 딸기 딸기 strawberry 사과 말고 딸기가 좋아요. I like strawberry, not apple. 사과 말고 
딸기가 좋아요. 체리, 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 체리 먹고 싶어요. I want to eat cherries. 체리 먹고 싶어요. 아이, child, 아이, 아이, child. 우리 아이는 아주 튼튼하다. My child is very healthy. 우리 아이는 아주 튼튼하다. 친구, friend. 친구, 친구, friend. 공원에서 친구를 만났어요. I met a friend at the park. 공원에서 친구를 만났어요. 성인, adult. 성인, 성인, adult. 비만은 성인병의 주요 원인입니다. Obesity is a main cause of adult illnesses. 비만은 성인병의 주요 원인입니다. 자전거 bicycle 자전거 자전거 bicycle 자전거는 차고에 있어요. The bicycle is in the garage. 자전거는 차고에 있어요. 자동차 car 자동차 자동차 car 어떤 자동차예요? What kind of car is it? 어떤 자동차예요? 오토바이 motorcycle 오토바이 오토바이 motorcycle 오토바이로 가는 것이 더 빠를 거야. Going by motorcycle will be faster. 오토바이로 가는 것이 더 빠를 거야. 스쿠터 scooter 스쿠터 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 도심에서는 스쿠터 타는 것이 편리해요. Scooters are convenient in the city. 도심에서는 스쿠터 타는 것이 편리해요. 배 boat 배, 배, boat. 낚싯배의 행렬은 아름다운 장관을 연출합니다. The fishing boat parade creates a beautiful scenery. 낚싯배의 행렬은 아름다운 장관을 연출합니다. 해파리 jellyfish 해파리 해파리 jellyfish 해파리들이 물속에서 솟아 올라가고 있다. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. 해파리들이 물속에서 소사 올라가고 있다. 바닷가재 lobster 바닷가재 
파닷가재 lobster 바닷가재는 정말 비싸요. Lobsters are very expensive. 바닷가재는 정말 비싸요. 개 crab 개 개, crab. 개는 보통 옆으로 걸어요. Crabs usually work sideways. 개는 보통 옆으로 걸어요. 거북이, turtle. 거북이, 거북이. Total. 바다 거북이가 바다에서 수영하고 있다. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. 바다 거북이가 바다에서 수영하고 있다. Did you know that most of the school rules in Korea were too strict and were once too difficult to follow? 여러분 안녕하세요. 소피입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. In this lesson, you will learn the six most common rules about school in South Korea. Students in South Korea follow different rules when it comes to their hairstyle, the clothes they wear, even the person they date, and more. In this video, you will learn first six common school rules, then some more old rules. If you are planning to become a teacher or want to study in Korea, watching this video could be the best thing that will ever happen to you. Why? Because you will be able to learn how to blend in with other students and you will know how to behave the right way when you are in school. The first rule is, you don't go to school on Saturdays, but you are expected to do yaja. Students in South Korea used to go to school on Saturdays, but it stopped when the law changed in the year 2000. However, students are still required to attend Yaja. Yaja. It's an abbreviation for Yagan Jayul Haksu. Yagan Jayul Haksu, which means nice self-learning. As the name implies, it's a self-study program held at the school and was mandatory in the past. Today, students are given the freedom to choose whether to do yaja or not. You will be studying in a quiet classroom when you are on a yaja time or night self-learning time. Yaja time. It's actually a huge help for students to plan their own study strategy or to do their sukje or homework. Sukje. Additionally, you can have your friend tutor you in the subject that you are not good at during yaja time. Students who are in their last year of high school or middle school typically do a voluntary yaja. Yaja. Now, let's do a quick practice on your pronunciation. Yaja. Nice self-learning. Yaja. Yaja. Yaja Shigan. Nice self learning time. Yaja Shigan. Yaja Shigan. Sukje. Homework. Sukje. Sukje. The next rule is. Take off your shoes when entering the school. Did you know that in South Korea, taking off your shoes is not only done in households? Students also take off their shoes in school. Once you enter the school building, you are required to take off your shoes and wear slipper, meaning slippers. Slipper or 실내화, meaning Indoor shoes. 실내화. You can keep your shoes on. 신발장. Or 
The shoe cabinets found by the entrance of the school building. 신발장 This rule is imposed to make sure that the floor is clean at all times. If you have to wash your slipper or 실내화 at home and you couldn't wear it, expect to lose some points for not following the school rule. The choice of the slipper or indoor shoe design or model varies depending on the school. So it's better for you to wait until the school announces which model and design you need to wear. To make sure that you are purchasing the right kind of indoor shoes, drop by the Bumbanggu or the stationery store, which is just outside the school. Bumbanggu here is a vocabulary list you can practice pronouncing at home. Slipper Slippers Slipper Slipper Slehua Indoor shoes Slehua Slehua Shinbaljang Shoes cabinet Shinbaljang 신발장 문방구 Stationery store 문방구 문방구 A synonym is 문방구점 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 Next is Teachers and 선도부 we stand at the doorway to check your uniform. Every time you enter the school door, there will be about five to six students and a teacher who will check you out from head to toe. This is to make sure that you are wearing their uniform the right way. I know it can get a little uncomfortable for you, but that's the rule in Korean schools. The teacher who does this is 체육 선생님 or a physical education teacher. 체육 선생님 and called 학주 학주 sure for 학생 주임 학생 주임 On the other hand, the students who are assigned to this are either 반장 meaning class president 반장 or 부반장, meaning class vice president, from the final year of school. 부반장 Since they are known as the top students and called 선도부, 선도부 or 바른 생활부, meaning leading group literally. 바른 생활부 which is similar to a student council. Other students highly respect them. These are the things the students and the teacher retract from you. That you are not wearing any accessory or accessories. Accessory, including invisible plastic earrings. That you are not wearing any 화장 or makeup. 화장 including whitening sunscreen. That you are wearing a hairstyle that's in line with the school rules. That the length of your skirt is below your knees if you are a girl. However, not all schools follow the same rules and others are even stricter, especially if you go to an only girls or boys school. Neglecting the school rules will cause you to lose points and it can affect your final score at the end of the semester or year. If you do the following things, you will be more likely to lose points. If you wear earrings, piercings, bracelets, and so on, minus 5 points. If you are not wearing your name tag, minus 3 points. If you wear makeup, minus 5 points. And the list could go on. It's important that you know the things that can cause you to lose points so you can avoid it, although 
points differ depending on the school. It's always best to follow the rules. Some teachers will make their students run the undongjang or schoolyard. Undongjang. A certain number of times to punish students who do not do well during the final exams instead of make them lose points. Are you ready for some pronunciation practice? Let's try this. 선배 One senior in school. Senior 선배 선배 체육 선생님 Physical education teacher 체육 선생님 체육 선생님 Accessory Accessories Accessory Accessory Next is your height matters when it comes to choosing a seat. The number of students in every class depends on which city you are from and ranges from 15 to 35 students. In order to have proper seating arrangements, students are allowed to sit anywhere. But your height must first be considered. Each student will be sitting in their height order, so those who are shorter will sit in the front and taller students will sit in the last row. Korean classrooms also have a personal chulseok bono, meaning attendance number, throughout the year and this is done by height order as well. Chulseok bono. For example, if there are 35 students in your class and you are the shortest, then your number will be 1번, meaning number 1. 1번. And if you are the tallest, your personal number will be 35번, meaning number 35. 35번. You must remember your person number because teachers call you by either your name or your personal number. For example, let's say you are in a 수학 교실 or math class. 수학 교실. And the teacher wrote down two mathematical equations to be solved by students. If today is 8월 15일, meaning August 15th, 8월 15일, who will most likely go to the front and solve the questions? That's right, the two students whose person numbers are number 8 and 15. Also, the teacher may order students to do something such as cleaning or other tasks by 짝수 짝수 or even numbers and 홀수 or odd numbers as well 홀수 Therefore, having your personal number is very important at school. You will also receive a different number every year so make sure you keep that in mind. Here is a vocabulary list you will surely find useful in a Korean school. 수학 math 수학 교실 class 교실 8월 15일 August 15th 8월 15일 8월 15일 짝수 even numbers 짝수 짝수 홀수 odd numbers 홀수 홀수 Next is no dating your schoolmate Schools in South Korea believe that dating in school will affect student study that's why they disallow students to date their schoolmates. For students attending only girls or boys high school, this won't be a problem. But if you attend cold schools, you will need to be extra careful not to get caught. It's a serious issue if you date your schoolmate and could result in 징계, meaning disciplinary punishment. 징계 or 퇴학 
meaning expelled from school. 퇴학 81% of middle and high schools don't allow students to date anyone in South Korea. Unfortunately, dating in school is perceived as an ethical behavior. Schools even reward students who report other students dating their schoolmates secretly. Another big issue they came out in 2011 was when a school surveyed the students to report same-sex dating. Here are more terms used in Korean schools. 학교 school 학교 학교 연애 dating 연애 연애 징계 disciplinary punishment 징계 징계 퇴학 expelled from school 퇴학 퇴학 Next is, you need permission to go to the bathroom and must take your own sanitary products. You need to ask permission from a 선생님 or teacher. 선생님 If you want to go to the 화장실 or bathroom. 화장실 You will have to raise your hand to let the teacher know and ask whether you can go to the bathroom. Unless you are in the middle of an exam, most of the time the teachers will let you go to the bathroom. You can ask your teacher this way. 선생님, 화장실 가도 돼요? Which means, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? 선생님, 화장실 가도 돼요? South Korean schools do not have 휴지 or toilet paper. 휴지 So make sure you bring your own sanitary essentials. If you ever forgot to bring toilet paper, try looking in your classroom since Koreans also use toilet paper for wiping the dirt of the desk or for blowing their nose or for other purposes. Here is some vocabulary you will find useful when going to the bathroom. 화장실 bathroom 화장실 화장실 선생님 teacher 선생님 선생님 휴지 tissue 휴지 휴지 A synonym is 두루마리 휴지 meaning toilet paper 두루마리 휴지 두루마리 휴지 Next is bonus rules an old rule and additional rules Did you know that Korean students are used to bowing their heads to a teacher every class? It's no longer allowed today though Students were also expected to sit and prepare a textbook and a notebook on their desks before class. South Korean students have their own classroom from themselves and the teachers are the ones who move around. As you can see, it's very different from other countries. Back in the day, when a teacher arrived to a classroom, 반장 or class president, 반장 would stand and say 차렷 meaning attention loudly so everyone could hear 차렷 then the class president will either say 인사 meaning great 인사 or 경례 meaning salute 경례 경례 then everyone had to say 선생님, 안녕하십니까? Meaning, hello teacher, before the class. 선생님, 안녕하십니까? And, 선생님, 안녕히 가십시오. Goodbye teacher, after the class. 선생님, 안녕히 
가십시오. This has been banned recently because people believe that this was too conservative and it doesn't help a teacher and the students establish a good relationship. Another rule South Korean schools follow is not allowing students to alter the length of their skirts or the width of their pants. 치마 길이 or the length of skirt has to cover half the knee. 치마 길이 If it's shorter than this, you will get in trouble. However, this really depends on the school. These days, students can alter their school uniforms to suit their body shape. You must also wear what the school tells you to. In South Korea, there are three ways to wear your school uniforms. The default school uniforms are 동복, 동복 or winter uniform, and 하복, summer uniform, 하복. In between, there is 춘추복 or spring autumn uniform. 춘추복. Normally, each uniform has its set duration, so even though the weather becomes extremely hot, if you are in the period of wearing dongbo or winter uniform, you have to wear the winter uniform. Dongbo. One more rule students follow in South Korea is regarding the student's hairstyle. The school will decide which hairstyle to do. However, nowadays, students are allowed to do many different hairstyles. Girls can to dye their hair, curl their hair, and untie their hair. Compare this to the old times when every girl had to have short hair, which must not grow longer than 3 cm below their ears. Boys, on the other hand, can now grow their hair longer than they could a few decades ago, when every boy had to shave their hair completely. This rule also depends on which school you go to. Some conservative schools still follow the traditional way of hairstyle. 두발 자유화 is something that Korean students are fighting for because they believe that free hairstyle allows them to express themselves. This has been an ongoing debate today. 두발 자유화 Some schools still follow the traditional ways of disciplining students, which can be a problem for some students. Although the majority of Koreans have naturally black hair, there are some exceptions. There are people with naturally brunette and even light brown, almost blonde hair. Others have naturally curly hair. I know what you are thinking. It's sad that these students will have to abide by the rule by straightening their hair or dyeing it black, although they were born this way. Here are some interesting vocabulary words you can practice. 반장 Class President 반장 반장 선생님 안녕하십니까? Hello, teacher. 선생님, 안녕하십니까? 선생님, 안녕하십니까? 선생님, 안녕히 가십시오. Goodbye, teacher. 선생님, 안녕히 가십시오. 선생님, 안녕히 가십시오. 치마 길이 the length of skirt. 치마 길이. 치마 길이. 동복. Winter uniform. 동복. 동복. 하복. Summer uniform. 하복. 하복. 춘추복. Spring autumn uniform. 춘추복. 춘추복 두발 자유화 Liberalization of the hair code 두발 자유화 두발 자유화 Next is Nevertheless 
we are getting better. As the years pass by, some rules were changed. Students don't go to school on Saturdays anymore since 2000. Yaza, on the other hand, used to be mandatory for everyone in middle and high school. But now, students can decide whether they want to attend it or not. Yaza, students' hairstyles were limited to and students with brunette hair had to dye it black just because it was school rule. But this doesn't apply to schools anymore. There is no longer a corporal punishment today as well. Do you think it's a good thing that they changed the rules? I'd love to know what you think about this. In this lesson, you learn the different school rules in Korea. Although some are understandable, some are just a little too hard for most students. However, you also learned that most of these rules have been changed and are no longer followed today. If you just got enrolled in a Korean school, you are one of the lucky ones who no longer has to follow the strict rules of the past. That's it for today. See you next time. 다음에 또 봐요. Welcome to Fun and Easy Korean by KoreanClass101.com. Did you know that there are fun and quicker ways to text in Korea? 여러분 안녕하세요, 소피입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Sophie. In this lesson, you will learn all about Korean slang and abbreviations. If you want to master Korean slang and abbreviations, you need to learn how Koreans communicate and express their emotions through texting. In this video, you will learn simplified Korean texting slang and combined words. After watching this video, reaching out to your Korean friends through text will change for the better. These Korean text slang words and expressions are actually easier to learn than you think. So, make sure to keep on watching. Let's start with simplified Korean texting slang which is common slang words that Koreans use frequently. You may notice that vowels are omitted, so you see only the first consonant of each syllable. That's why you cannot actually read or say these words. Koreans use them for texting only, using your phone or computer. The first is 기억 시옷, short for 감사, meaning Thank you. 감사. 감사. This is how you use it. 선물 감사. Which means, thank you for your present. 선물 감사. 선물 감사. Another common Korean slang is 니은 니은. Short for no no. Meaning, no no. No, 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 no. For example, 사진 no, no, meaning no picture, which is a way of saying that there's no picture or don't take a picture. 사진 no, no, 사진 no, no. Next is 디귿 디귿, short for 덜덜. This is a word used to describe shivering, especially because it's frightening, shocking, or surprising. 덜 덜. 덜 덜. It is used like this. 노래는 좋은데 가사가 덜 덜. The melody is great, but the lyrics are scary. 노래는 좋은데 가사가 덜 덜. 노래는 좋은데 가사가 덜덜. Another one is 쌍지읒 쌍지읒, short for 쯧쯧, meaning 쯧쯧 쯧쯧. You use it this way. 또 늦었네 쯧쯧. He's late again. 또 늦었네 쯧쯧. 또 늦었네, 쯧쯧. Next is 기억 기억, which is short for 고고, meaning let's go 
or let's do it. Cool, 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 cool. This is how you use it. 내일부터 다이어트 고고, which means I will go on a diet from tomorrow. 내일부터 다이어트 고고. 내일부터 다이어트 고고. Text your friend goodbye through this. 비읍 비읍. Short for 바이 바이. Meaning goodbye. 바이 바이. 바이 바이. Here is an example. 내일 봐. 바이 바이. See you tomorrow. Bye. 내일 봐. 바이 바이. 내일 봐. 바이 바이. Another one is 이응 이응. Short for 응. Meaning yes. 응. 응. You can use it this way. 응, 응. 알겠어. Yes, I got it. 응, 응. 알겠어. 응, 응. 알겠어. Is it your friend's birthday today? Text them with this. 축, 큐, 축, 큐. Short for 축하, 축하. Meaning, congratulations. Literally. We use this expression on someone's birthday, marriage, or graduation when you want to say congratulations. 축하, 축하. 축하, 축하. For example, 생일 축하, 축하. Happy birthday. 생일 축하, 축하. 생일 축하. 축하, 축하. Another frequent text slang is 이응, 키우. Short for 오케이. Meaning, 오케이. 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 For example, 오케이, 그렇게 할게. 오케이, I will do that. 오케이, 그렇게 할게. 오케이. 그렇게 할게. If you did something that hurts the feelings of your Korean friend, text him or her with 지읒 시옷. A short version of 죄송. Meaning, sorry. 죄송. 죄송. And in an example, 아 칠수. 죄송. Oh, my mistake. I'm sorry. 아, 실수. 죄송. 아, 실수. 죄송. Let your Korean friends know they are being funny by texting. 키우, 키우, 키우. Short for 크, 크, 크. Which is the sound of laughter. It is the same as LOL. Laughing out loud. 크, 크, 크. K -k -k. You can use it when commenting on a funny picture. There's a similar expression. Hit, hit, hit. Which is short for hu, hu, hu. Which represents a weaker laugh sound than k -k -k. Hu, hu, hu. Hu, hu, hu. Next is text slang with combined words. These are a bit more complicated than the previous ones I gave you because they are composed of more than one Korean expression. Here are some examples. The first word in our list is 짐, short for 지금, meaning now. 짐, 짐. In a sentence, you could say 짐 어디? Where are you now? 짐 어디? 짐 어디? Sam is another Korean slang short for 선생님, meaning teacher. Sam. Sam. Here it is in a sentence. 
우리 쌤 진짜 잘생긴 것 같아. I think my teacher is really handsome. 우리 쌤 진짜 잘생긴 것 같아. 우리 쌤 진짜 잘생긴 것 같아. Next is 어케. Short for 어떻게. Meaning how. 어케. 어케. For example, 이거 어케 쓰는 거지? How can I use this? 이거 어케 쓰는 거지? 이거 어케 쓰는 거지? If your Korean friend invited you to go hiking, but you don't feel like going, reply with 다음. Short for 다음. Meaning, next time. 다음. 다음. In a sentence, 다음에 가자. Let's go next time. 다음에 가자. 다음에 가자. Here is another Korean slang. 스샷. Short for 스크린샷. Meaning, screenshot. 스샷. 스샷. Here is an example. 폰 스샷 찍어 보내줘. Send me the screenshot of your phone. 폰 스샷 찍어 보내줘. 폰 스샷 찍어 보내줘. Another one is 눈팅. Short for 눈채팅. Meaning, to read a chat without interacting. 눈팅. 눈팅. For example, 난 인스타그램은 그냥 눈팅만 해. I spend time lurking on Instagram. 난 인스타그램은 그냥 눈팅만 해. 난 인스타그램은 그냥 눈팅만 해. Do you like what you are eating at a restaurant? Text your friend with 강추. Short for 강력 추천. Meaning highly recommended. 강추. 강추. For example, 이거 짱 맛있어. 강추. This is really delicious. Highly recommended. 이거 짱 맛있어. 강추. 이거 짱 맛있어. 강추. p b o n is a slang that you will find very useful. It is short for 비밀번호, meaning passwords. 비번, 비번. And now an example. 엄마, 아파트 비번 뭐야? Mom, what's the code for our apartment door? 엄마, 아파트 비번 뭐야? 엄마, 아파트 비번 뭐야? Did you know there's a Korean slang word for the word computer? It's com. Short for 컴퓨터. com. com. Here it is in a sentence. 이 어플 com으로도 돼? Does this app work on the computer too? 이 어플 com으로도 돼? 이 어플 컴으로도 돼? Here's a slang you can use with your Korean office mates. 메일 Short for 메일 Meaning email. 메일 메일 For example, you could say 나 메일 좀 쓸게. Let me write an email. 나 메일 좀 쓸게. 나 메일 좀 쓸게. Next is cam, short for game, meaning game. Cam, cam. It's perfect Korean slang you can use with your Korean gamer friends. And now in a sentence, 게임하러 갈 건데 같이 갈래? 
We are going to play a game. Do you want to play too? 게임 하러 갈 건데 같이 갈래? 게임 하러 갈 건데 같이 갈래? Next is 울 Short for 우리 Meaning we Our or my 울 울. For example, 울 남친 잘생겼지. My boyfriend is handsome, right? 울 남친 잘생겼지. 울 남친 잘생겼지. Next is 짱나. Short for 짜증나. Meaning, I am annoyed or I'm cranky. This slang is perfect when you feel like expressing your emotions. 짱나 짱나 For example, 날씨 더워서 너무 짱나 I feel so cranky because of this hot weather. 날씨 더워서 너무 짱나 날씨 더워서 너무 짱나 Next is 근데 Short for 그런데 Meaning by the way or but 근데 근데 So you might say 이거 비싸 보이지? 근데 사실 되게 싸 This looks expensive, right? But it's actually very cheap 이거 비싸 보이지? 근데 사실 되게 싸 이거 비싸 보이지 근데 사실 되게 싸 You can also use the slang 때문에 short for 때문에 meaning because of 때문에 때문에 In an example 너 때문에 엄마가 화났잖아 Mom is angry because of you 너 때문에 엄마가 화났잖아. 너 때문에 엄마가 화났잖아. Try using 아님 when texting. It's short for 아니면, meaning or, or if not. 아님, 아님. In a sentence, 초콜릿 먹을래? 아님 쿠키 먹을래? Do you want to eat some chocolates or some cookies? 초콜릿 먹을래? 아님 쿠키 먹을래? 초콜릿 먹을래? 아님 쿠키 먹을래? Now let's learn 알써 Short for 알겠어 Meaning okay 알써 알써 For example, 알써 집 가는 길에 우유 사 갈게 Okay, I will buy some milk on the way home 알써 집에 가는 길에 우유 사 갈게 알써 집에 가는 길에 우유 사 갈게 Let your Korean friends know that it's your first time in Korea or it's your first time meeting them by texting. 처음 Short for 처음 Meaning for the first time. 처음 처음 You could say 한국 음식은 처음 먹어봐. This is my first time to try Korean cuisine. 한국 음식은 처음 먹어봐. 한국 음식은 처음 먹어봐. Next is 내일. Short for 내일. It's the slang you use when you want to text tomorrow. 내일. 내일. For example, 내일 보자. See you tomorrow. 내일 보자. 내일 보자. 제일, 
On the other hand, it's short for 제일, meaning the most, the best. 제일, 제일. And in a sentence, 네가 제일 예뻐, which means you're the prettiest. 네가 제일 예뻐. 네가 제일 예뻐. Next is 좋아, short for 좋아, meaning I like. 좋아, 좋아. For example, 난 딸기 케이크가 좋아, meaning I like strawberry cake. 난 딸기 케이크가 좋아. 난 딸기 케이크가 좋아. 반가, short for 반갑습니다, meaning nice to meet you. 반가, 반가. This word is used on the internet or chat and might be considered somewhat old-fashioned. You can still come across it in many places, so it's a good word to remember. 안녕, 반가, 반가. Hello, nice to meet you. 안녕, 반가, 반가. 안녕, 반가, 반가. Now, let's learn about slang for the days of the week. 월요일 Short for 월요일 Meaning, Monday. 화요일 Short for 화요일 Meaning, Tuesday. 수요일 Short for 수요일 Meaning, Wednesday. 목요일 Short for 목요일 meaning Thursday. 금요일, short for 금요일, meaning Friday. 토요일, short for 토요일, meaning Saturday. 일요일, short for 일요일, meaning Sunday. Try using one of these like this. 그럼 월요일에 볼까? Shall we meet on Monday? 그럼 월요일에 볼까? 그럼 월요일에 볼까? In this lesson, you learn different Korean slang words used in texting. You can now communicate with your Korean friends through simplified Korean slang, combined words, emoticons, and text slang with numbers. You don't have to create long and boring messages anymore whenever you want to get in touch with your Korean friends. But, if you want to speak even more Korean and learn in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way, go to koreanclass101.com and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Get our complete learning program with real lessons by real teachers. That's it for today. See you next time. 다음에 또 봐요. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the secret to speaking more of your target language. If you're like most language learners, then above all, you want to speak and understand more of your target language, right? Well, keep watching. You'll learn how to prepare ahead of time to speak more, how to put this tactic to use with our learning program, and how to get free cheat sheets that'll get you speaking more. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, do you know how to apologize in your target language? With this printable conversation cheat sheet, you'll learn all the ways to apologize and show respect in your target language. Second, the seven tested ways to learn language fast. With this bonus ebook, you'll learn how to use our learning system to speak better, remember more words, and improve fast. Download it for free right now. Third, medicine and medical treatments. This one minute lesson gives you all the must know words and phrases you'll need when talking about prescriptions and treatments. Fourth, 
the top 25 words for transportation. You'll learn how to say words like plane, train, automobile, and much more in one minute with this quick vocab bonus. Fifth, back to school words and phrases. Do you know how to say homework or what class are you taking? If you don't, this next one minute lesson gives you all the words you need for the school season. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The secret to speaking more of your target language. If you're like most language learners, then above all, you want to speak and understand more of your target language. But how do you speak more when you're just starting out, when you can't yet create sentences off the top of your head? Here are some tips. Let's jump into part one, how to prepare ahead of time to speak more. So what's the secret to speaking more of your target language? It's something called preparation. And believe it or not, you've likely used it if you've ever had to give a speech or a presentation. So what do we mean by preparation? Imagine that you have to go open a bank account in the language that you're learning. How would you do it? You can go in there, grunt, and use body language, or you can first come up with a list of words and phrases you need to know before you go, like debit card, bank account, I want to open a bank account, and minimum balance. You may want to look up the grammar rules for how to say, I want to. Once you know these words and phrases, you translate them into your target language and you go over to the bank to open an account. Or let's say you're meeting a person for the first time. What are some things you'd say to them? Things like, what's your name? My name is, where are you from? I am from, and so on. So you prepare a list of words and phrases, all the things you'd want to say in that situation. You translate them ahead of time so that you can communicate effectively. That's preparation. And preparation works because most conversations are predictable to a degree. For example, most conversations with friends start with greetings and catching up on how you've been. And if you know the lines for greetings, catching up, and talking about your weekend, then you can easily handle such a conversation. The point is, the more you prepare, the more you learn to speak without needing a teacher. So, how do you prepare? Part two, how to speak more through preparation. Here are some tips. If you're using our learning program, one, take our audio and video lessons. You'll find these in our lesson library and just focus on the conversational lessons. Lessons are just three to 15 minutes in length, and in the first minute, you'll hear a practical conversation. For example, meeting someone new, catching up with a friend, or ordering at a restaurant. Then our teachers break down and explain every word and grammar rule. So you can learn these lines and conversations ahead of time. Number two, download the audio dialogue track. This gives you just the conversation. So when you finish a lesson, download it for easy review. Then make a playlist out of all of them and play the conversations on repeat. This will make them much easier to remember. Number three, save the lesson notes. The lesson notes give you the lesson in writing, so you can read the lesson dialogue, the grammar explanations, and cultural insights for every lesson. Download and keep the notes for conversations you think are useful. For example, if you want to talk about the weather and you took a lesson on that, then download the lesson notes for that lesson. Now, if you're looking to prepare ahead of time for specific topics, then do this next one. Number four, use our free PDF conversation cheat sheets. These conversation cheat sheets teach you words and phrases for all kinds of common conversation topics, like weather, hobbies, family, plans, and much more. You can prepare for the most common conversations with these cheat sheets. If you want to access our free conversation cheat sheets, leave a comment down below and we'll give you the link. Number five, look up lesson topics in our lesson library. If you want to open a bank account or eat at a certain restaurant and you don't know how to talk about these topics, find a lesson about it in our lesson library. Number six, if you're a Premium Plus user, simply ask your teacher to point you to lessons for certain topics, or even better, ask them for potential lines, and you can even practice speaking. Just record yourself, send it in, and your teacher will provide you feedback on what to say and how. Number seven, do it the old school way. Sit down, think of a topic you wanna to talk about. Make a list of all the words you think you need, all the phrases you wanna say or may hear in that conversation. Then, translate those words and phrases into your target language. So let's recap. 
Most conversations are predictable. You can prepare ahead of time by thinking of all the words and lines you'll need for various conversations. And you can prepare with, one, our audio and video lessons, two, conversation tracks, three, lesson notes, four, free PDF cheat sheets, five, by looking up specific topics in the lesson library, six, asking your Premium Plus teacher, and seven, by manually coming up with a list of the words and phrases and translating them. Everyone can find five minutes to spare somewhere in their day. Why not use that time to learn a language? In five minutes, you can jump into a new lesson, vocabulary list, or grammar point. Let's look at the concept of the five minute rule. It's a simple idea that can help you be more successful in your language learning. In this video, you'll learn about the five minute rule and how it can help you master a language in the long run. Point one, the five minute rule can help you put your time to better use. Have you ever caught yourself falling down a YouTube hole? Or have you ever looked up from a simple phone game and realized you've been playing for 30 minutes? Of course you have. We have all had this experience at some point. The idea with the five minute rule is that you take some of that time you might be spending on something not so productive and turn just five minutes into time you spend learning language. You can even do this on your phone with our app. Our audio and video lessons are three to 15 minutes long, so it's easy to spend five minutes on a lesson. You can also review vocabulary and phrase lists, review the word of the day, or drill words with flashcards for five minutes. There are a ton of ways to study. You just need to sit down for five minutes and do it. There's no need to stress about how to fill hours of study time. Point two, the five minute rule can help you take advantage of bite-sized learning. Why is it a five minute rule? What's so special about this amount of time? Before we answer this question, imagine your typical day. You wake up in the morning and go to work or school. You finish in the evening and come home. You want to study, but you think about spending hours of your limited free time on learning and you lose motivation. If, however, at the end of a long day, you come home and think about spending just five minutes studying, it becomes much easier to motivate yourself and you're much more likely to actually do it. Expecting yourself to spend hours of each day studying after going to work or attending school can make you burn out quickly. You might be able to keep it up for a short period of time, but for many people, the amount of pressure they put on themselves causes them to lose motivation and stop completely. Five minutes, however, is easy to keep up with every day. You won't dread spending five minutes of your free time on your studies. And you'll probably find that once you start, you'll study for longer than just five minutes. Breaking your studies into small pieces can help you jump in whenever you feel like it. There's one simple study tool that will help you speak more of your target language. It'll help you understand entire conversations and catch every single word. It'll also help you respond in conversations. The tool is the Dialogue Study Tool. It'll help you with all of this and will help you improve your reading and writing skills. In this video, we'll look at how the Dialogue Study Tool can aid your language learning. Number one, what is the Dialogue Study Tool? The Dialogue Study Tool is a premium study tool that you can find in every lesson. The Dialogue Tool is a line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversations in your lessons. You get the dialogue script in the target language. You get the romanized version, the translated script, audio pronunciations, and access to a voice recorder for each line. Number two, why is the tool so powerful? For example, Let's look at how you can use it to improve your speaking skills. When you listen to a lesson, use the dialogue to read along. As you listen, speak out loud along with the lesson. Repeat what you hear. The dialogue tool makes mastering conversations super easy. It breaks down the lesson conversations one line at a time. You can use it to make sure you understand every line, phrase, and word without getting overwhelmed. And you can also use it to perfect your speaking, reading, listening, and writing skills. If you're not sure about how to say something, you can click on the audio icon next to the line to hear it spoken by a native speaker. Then repeat out loud. You can do this as many times as you want. To perfect your pronunciation, click on the microphone icon to start recording. Record yourself saying a line and compare your pronunciation to the pronunciation of a native speaker. These tactics will get you speaking in minutes, and if you apply these to every lesson, you'll be speaking your target language in no time. But what about listening? Since the dialogue is a line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation, you can listen to each line separately, as much as you want. 
Just click on the audio icon. You can listen again and again and review the script. Read along with the script so you can catch every word. This will help you understand fast, native-level conversations without missing anything. Reading is another skill to improve with the dialogue tool. As you listen to the conversation, just read along with the lesson script that's inside the lesson dialogue. If you don't know a word, click the translations that are in the dialogue. You can even read with the Romanized script to help you sound out the words. Lastly, let's talk about how it can help boost writing skills. This is a very simple, basic suggestion. Just write the dialogue down in a notebook by hand. Just writing down the dialogue provided gives you a chance to practice using letters or words you might never have written before. This is especially true if you're studying a language that uses an alphabet or script you're unfamiliar with. Another benefit is that it gives you things to write. Instead of taking time to think about what to write, you can just write the dialogue down. The dialogue tool can support your studies in many different ways, and this makes it a powerful aid for your language learning. There might be times in your life when you need to learn something right away. Maybe you have an unexpected exam, you need to prepare for a new job, or you might be traveling for work. In situations like these, many people feel the need to try to study a lot of information in a short period of time. But can you really learn a language by cramming in all of your studying in a short period? In this video, we'll talk about how cramming works with language learning. One, is cramming effective? A lot of people would probably answer yes to this question based on experiences they had in school. Most of us have probably had the experience of staying up late the night before a test to cram as much information as possible. But how much of that information do you remember now? Cramming can work if you have a test tomorrow or a short-term study goal. For example, if your only goal is to pass a test or give a presentation within a few days, cramming isn't a bad idea but it doesn't work very well if you want to remember what you've studied in the long run. A great example of a better way to study is with something like our spaced repetition flashcards. One of the most effective ways to study is to review something over a period of time. Spacing out your studies is what helps you learn and retain information best. You learn something today, you come back in two days and review it. Then, you come back in four days and review it some more. In contrast, cramming is a one-time thing. You cram a lot of information in your brain, take a test, and then forget it all. But when you review, you're strengthening the synapses in your brain. Synapses are like little roads that connect the neurons in your brain. So the more you review, the stronger the connection, and the better the recall. But what if you need to learn fast? Two, an example of a cramming schedule. Let's say you're traveling for work and you really need to learn some greetings and some basic survival phrases to make it through your trip. Time is probably not on your side. Your only option is to cram. Here's what a cram plan might look like in a case like this. Spend some time on survival lessons before going to bed. Increase the amount of time you spend with anyone you can talk to in your target language, another student or maybe an online teacher. Increase the amount of time you spend on any online language classes you're taking. Another problem related to cramming is that your study time has to come from somewhere, and that tends to come from sleep, so that's not a good thing. We don't recommend cramming, but if you have to cram, which we all do at some point, here are some ideas for how to do it. Three, cramming learning program. Cramming might get you a lot of fast results in a short period of time, but with just a couple of one-time study sessions, it's a strategy that won't help you in the long run. If you find yourself in a situation where you absolutely have to cram, here's what you can do. First, pick the lessons that align with your goal. Focus on just what you need. If you're learning for travel, skip the other lessons and focus on our survival phrases series. If you want to learn basic conversations, look at the top 25 questions you need to know content. If you need special phrases for the bank or the post office, we have lessons for that too. And you can find lessons for all kinds of topics and scenarios in the lesson library. Second, prioritize lessons at your level more than the challenging lessons. If you're working within a limited time frame, you'll get more value for your time by doing lessons that are at your level. You can spend more time on the harder lessons later if you find you have the time. We have a vocabulary slideshow tool and a flashcard tool that you can use for quick study sessions. Both of these features quiz you on vocab and help you learn fast. Focus on mastering a few must-know lessons. 
It's better to know all of the dialogue from five lessons inside out than to run through 60 lessons and not remember anything. You can also take advantage of our lesson notes. Inside the lesson notes, you'll get the lesson dialogue, translations, explanations, sample sentences, and cultural insights. We have a printer-friendly version of the word bank too. Just click on that to create a printout. It'll give you a physical study sheet you can use to review anywhere. You can also print out PDF conversation cheat sheets and infographics. These teach you the must-know words and phrases for all kinds of topics. Travel, basic conversations, talking about hobbies, airport vocab, and much more. With the infographics, you can save the images to your phone and just swipe through them for a quick review. And finally, when you're ready, do a quiz session. Even if you're low on time, a bit of review can help. After you're done with a lesson, stop and ask yourself, what was the main grammar point of the lesson? Try and explain that rule to yourself in your head, or say it out loud. Remember, we don't recommend cramming as the best method for learning a language. The key to building skills is repetition. But if you need a quick study session to learn a few key points in your target language, we have the tools to help you. When you're ready to come back and review what you've crammed, we can help you with that too. You've studied for a while and are ready to talk to people and practice what you've learned, but where do you start? Starting a conversation in a new language can seem a bit intimidating. How do you just jump into it? In this video, we'll look at five ways to start conversations. Number one, introduce yourself in your target language. This is usually one of the first things you learn when you start studying a new language. And sometimes starting a conversation or continuing one is as simple as introducing yourself. Number two, talking about the weather. This is a universal talking point. People talk about the weather all over the world. And just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation. A great way to practice your weather conversation skills is to check out our can-do lesson pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Number three, give compliments. Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about your conversation partner's city, country, or something specific to them personally. Hey, your bag is super cute, or that ice cream looks delicious. These kinds of compliments can lead to further conversation about what you complimented. In this case, it could be fashion or a local restaurant. This is a great way to make quick connections with people. Number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions, ask about prices, or request recommendations for restaurants or shopping spots and let the conversation go from there. People are usually happy to lend a helping hand to tourists who are visiting their city. Number five, learn phrases for transactions. This can include getting a room at a hotel or telling a taxi driver where to go. When you're traveling overseas, you'll need to talk to other people in your target language. And while this might be a bit scary at first, you'll find that the people you meet are just happy that you're trying to communicate with them. So get started talking in your target language now. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.